What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Advisor, and I'm back with the truth. Okay, y'all, I know I kind of, like, ain't been on here in, like, you know, a day or two, but I be needing my breaks sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I be needing my break, but if it was, like, something, like, a message that I get that was really, really, really important, I'm going to give it to y'all, whether it's, like, on my page or whatever, but I'm, I'm going to give it to y'all, okay? So, I got a message for somebody, because apparently somebody needs to hear this. Um, I got a few messages, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, yeah. Anyway, okay, so, somebody stalking you on social media, that's for somebody, whoever this person is, their name start with a T, their first initial start with a T. Okay, that's for somebody, okay? And then, I'm also being like, somebody out here could be like, um, you know, one of my subscribers, somebody's a cosmetologist. Also, um, the police is about to run to somebody's house, right? It could be like, I'm getting like everybody in the house. When they come in the house, everybody in the house on drugs. You know what I'm saying? Type of energy is what I'm getting. Or some of the whole family might be on drugs or, or like they selling drugs or somebody doing drugs. Like everybody in the house. I'm also getting like, uh, somebody had coming out of my post and you were right. Cause I had like got a message. I kind of meditated on, on what you said. And about the hitman being a hacker, somebody hitman, right, that was sent to off them, they are a hacker. I don't know if this is the person that's hacking. I don't know, but they a hacker. Whoever this hacker is, they dealing with a female that works for, like, they're a tarot card reader. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this hacker is, this person that tried to, uh, this hitman who tried to off you, they are a hacker. I feel like they went to school for it or something. But they, they most definitely a hacker. They good with computers and all this stuff like that, right? So, um... Yeah, and and they whoever they dealing with, they um this person work for um not well work for YouTube. She do you know she do reading. She's a tarot card reader. Okay, so that's for somebody. I also uh, got a message about like you know with the, like the double gang double gang energy. Somebody been astro traveling to somebody like in their sleep in their dreams or it's like you can't astro travel. I believe if I'm not mistaken, you can't you can't astro travel somewhere unless you've already been there. If I'm not mistaken, I don't, I don't know. Just y'all gonna let me know. I know y'all gonna let me know. But um, yeah, I think I think so. You can't astro travel unless you've already been there. But either way, um, somebody's like astro traveling to somebody or something like this. Somebody like, like astro travel to your place and see you with, you know, just see, you know, just astro travel to you and they see everything you're doing. That's for somebody. Or somebody's about to have an out-of-body experience or had an out-of-body experience. I'm also getting like somebody could have like, yeah, with the double gang energy, I don't know. Like you were dealing with this female. Okay, say like, so look, check this out. So you could have been dealing with a female, two females, right? And it's like, double gang energy. The other one want to be the other one so bad because they want to be with you or something like that, right? Switch, because I'm hearing switch their birth. So it's like she want to switch with you. Trading places. Like she tried to trade places with you. She tried to trade places with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Somebody tried to, so we just gonna say it's two women in the mail and this woman want to be you so bad and you don't want this woman. I don't know why, but whatever. So she is the double gang because she because she Astro travel. I don't know. Two people astro travel inside. Could can two people astro travel? This girl, somebody. So she killed her and astro travel. And got in her body or something. And you date you dating the other woman. You don't even know her. The one you didn't want, you dating her. I don't know. It's weird. The one you don't want, you dating her. The one you do want has passed away because of this one. She's a doppelganger. Y'all take my red lately. Well, now when I get the message, I just give them how I get them. Y'all gotta make it make sense. Um, you know, I think I already told y'all somebody finna get their penis cut off. Mine for real. I'm for real, for real. They finna get their penis cut off. Okay, um, that's all the messages I got. We finna move on. We finna get into some better energy. I just want to get, want to get y'all the message. So I, before I forget, and I be trying to tell me I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm also picking up on somebody could have um like faked their death right and they coming back or somebody who was missing coming back. So so like somebody could have been missing for a long time and everybody thought they were dead or just missing or something like that. They coming back or I don't know, somebody could have been missing when they was a child and then they grown, they coming back. I don't know. 
Somebody could have been switched at birth or somebody lucid dreaming. Somebody lucid dreaming. Astro projection. I'm hearing astro projection. Okay, so look, I already pulled four cards out, and then the first card that came out is you're on the right path. So if you were wondering, spirit say yes, you are on the right path. Everything you're doing is correct. A lot of y'all finna start having awakenings and stuff, man. Everybody's waking up, right? You're not crazy if you start hearing things and hearing voices in your ear, or like start seeing pennies and stuff on the ground. That's a sign that your your angels trying to trying to get in touch with you. You know what I'm saying? No, you're not crazy if you hear voices and shit like that. If you know that you you gifted, you know. We go through, baby. This is it gets way deeper than hearing voices. You should see like the stuff I go through. Hearing voices that ain't nothing. Like, come on. It said, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So whatever you're doing, obviously it's working. So stop stressing out about it. Stop worrying out and worrying about it because it is working. Music. Okay, so you connect to me. Your your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So you connect to music when you li when you listen to music, or you know if you're feeling a certain type of way, you listen to music, or you dance around, or whatever that heals you. You know what I'm saying? That, that raises your vibration. So that's for someone. Okay, it says talk to your angels in instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. Did I say what made me say something about some penis? On the ground, when, you, when they, your angels and your ancestors are trying to get in contact with you, talk to your angels. They really trying to get in contact with you. Instead of worrying, if you ask for divine protection from your angels and your, you know your spirit guides, you'll be you'll be just fine. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta talk to them. They trying to get your attention. Okay, say leadership. Take charge of the situation. You are on the right path. It's time for you to take charge of the situation. Right? Take leadership. Um. My mother did support, but it's in reverse. So your life purpose fully supports you. You feel like your life purpose don't support you, but it's clear the first card came out was you on the right path. Look at all that purple. You are very intuitive, very powerful. Then it's purple right here too. You see all that purple? Yeah. You have a natural in, um, energy healing abilities. Your natural uh, energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. You are a healer. Somebody needs to meditate more and trust the process. Trust your feelings. Trust your get. Trust your guidance. Trust your feelings. Trust your intuition. Yeah, you somebody second guess, guessing their intuition. Somebody could be doing yoga. I used to be that way. I second guess my intuition the whole time I was I was right. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I was right, thinking I was wrong. Never. I'd rather just eat, just get it out and be wrong there than just hold it in. I could have been right. I know they sound crazy, but whatever. Okay, let me see. Let me get another one. I'm gonna pull from another deck. I'm, I'm gonna try not to make it so long, y'all. Somebody read. Somebody. Um, I'm talking to a tarot card. Okay, so somebody is um like a new reader. Yeah, I'm hearing newbie. <laughs> So somebody's like a reader and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right path. It might be slow right now, but it's going to get better. Believe me, trust me, I know. I know. And I even had people holding me back. I should have been farther than where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But, yeah, it said you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Some of y'all are telling Kyrie. Somebody finna travel. What else, spirit? Give me another one. There's too many. But it okay. Y'all look, it can't make out. It's like it I want to come out upright though. So it says so you feel like you're not supported, right? In your life purpose. Oh your life purpose full of support, so you feel like your life purpose don't support you for whatever reason. But like I said, it, that's 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 a lie. The lie text the test says that's a lie. That is a lie. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. And then, like I said, that was the first card that came out. Let me put them back because we just had them. Yeah, you need to trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. You know what I'm saying? You 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 feel like you can't do it. Maybe I don't know. Study. I don't know why you feel like you can't do it. Okay, there's a lot of cards. Okay, healer, you have the spiritual gift of healing and desire to share it with others. Like when I look at some pictures, I get messages. Right, we got a lot of cards out here. I, I guess somebody yoga doing yoga. 
Somebody needs to exercise and stretch more and eat better. Okay, somebody like is a culinary cook. A culinary, did I say it? You have culinary skills or something like that. You conduct killing with your with you, when you cook. You cook with love. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I cook with love. I cook with love. I put you to sleep. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, it says consider the career possibilities that are open to you. Right, you heal, inspire, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Somebody's a, a book writer. Oh, I'm her bookkeeper. It's a, yeah, that's what that's this is what I the word I was trying to say, but I was trying to find another word to say it. But some of y'all feel like y'all not fully supported, or you feel like you can't do this because you're not practicing enough. It says polish your skills by practicing regularly. You need to practice more. So if you're a tarot card reader, you feel like you don't understand the cards or whatever. Practice more. You know what I'm saying? The more you practice, the better you split the date. The better you will get. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be traveling. Yeah, infinite but I can't make this up. Somebody's a tarot card reader. You are a tarot card reader, or is, or you're gonna be, you're becoming like you know somebody gonna start a page, or you already start a page, right? Or you are you know you already got your page, but like when you get on track, right? You're on the right path. You know you're being divinely guided. So as you um, you know what I'm saying? It's like this is a this is gonna it's gonna be a journey, right? It's gonna be a long journey. But you're going to be very abundant because this is your what? Your life purpose, right? This is what you love to do. So do it. But like I said, when you find your, your your life purpose, whatever it is that you love to do, absolutely love to do it, and you're happy doing it, you're going to be abundant. Okay? And I always, this ain't just money. You know what I'm saying? It could be abundant in, in your gifts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Tell God reading. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's get another dick. Let I me mean, let me make it quick. I don't want to make it too long. Okay. It's a um it's off subject, but I'm picking up on like a a nurse or a nurse finna speak out or a nurse could have sued the hospital or something. That's what I'm getting. For something in regards to child, it's a lot of child energy. People doing stuff to children. Somebody could get arrested, man. Somebody could be in a wheelchair or something, or disabled. Okay, let's see. Y'all. I'm seeing somebody getting somebody kind of drive out. Look, y'all need the light. Um, when you get out your car to go get gas and stuff like that. Cut your car off. Somebody need to cut their car off. You like to leave your car on when you getting gas and somebody gonna jump in your car. Somebody gonna jump in your car and try to take it. I'm not seeing if they gonna take it. They might. They gonna attempt to try to ruin your car. Okay, anyway, back to subject. So, yeah, you on the right path. Let's see, I'm on 13, 14, Spirit, can you clarify you're on the right path? I got four cards out here to clarify. I'm going to clarify them, y'all, and I'm going to be through. Okay, so you're on the right path. The dreamer, a new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So what are, what, what are we talking about, y'all? You're on the right path. What they say? Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And this clearly says... Take a leap of faith. Push your fears aside. If you want to start a YouTube channel with tarot card reading, push your fears aside. If you are um shaman, somebody's a shaman or somebody work with medicine or something like that, put your fears aside. Do whatever it is you want to do. Somebody wanna somebody got a food truck or you wanna cook or something like that. Put your fears aside and take a chance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta trust yourself. You need a new start or you're gonna get a new start. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Wishes coming true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune, faith in the universe. This all will be well. That all will be well. Faith in the universe, that all will be well. Okay? Well, faith. You got to have faith. You got to trust yourself. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, there's too many cards. Let me look at these. It says, enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successful, self-employed, enjoying self-employed. What did I say? Self-employed. Mm. I'm going to be clarifying, though, right? But, okay. So, we finna Ooh, hold on, y'all. We finna clarify, uh, music. Oh, yeah. Somebody finna have an awakening. As I spit the dick, awakening. Somebody finna have an awakening. Yeah, justice. Okay, let's see. Speed, what is this music? It's too many. Music. <clears throat> your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So you heal through music. And some of y'all like, <clears throat> could be like, into music or do music and you heal that way too. You know what I'm saying? It said magic is alive. You heal when you write your songs and stuff like that. It says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a successful, a success will manifest in your belief. I'm saying this is so wrong, man. I said this is so wrong. It says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it. You can do it, okay? So, if you are a, like, um, if you are, like, in some music and stuff like that, if you believe it, you can do it if you push yourself. Somebody, like, up and coming or you want to be a, um, a singer, rapper, or something like that, whatever it is, or somebody do beats or something or make beats, but you, like, unsure about it. Like, should I keep going? Should I stop? Am I good enough? You are good enough, but you got to believe it, right? Well, you are what you think. If you manifest it, you constantly putting it out to the universe. I can't do this. I don't think I can do this. But you got to start. So somebody for having an awakening is going to come so quick. Somebody could be having some car trouble right now. Or, or somebody could be finna get a new car. I think I've been saying it lately. Okay, talk to your angels instead of worrying about... Yeah, because you worrying too much. You worrying about what if, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Drop the ego. Look, the illusions of being trapped, you finna trap. Illusions, ego, drop the ego. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or health. So some of y'all may be having addictions or, um, you know, unhealthy habits. Like, unhealthy, unhealthy habits could be like... As far as like eating, like not eating good, it could be gambling, it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could be whatever it is. You know, it's time for you to uh, accept the responsibility and make better choices. You know what I'm saying? You too busy stuck in need with in these addictions, you can't even talk to your angels or talk to your spirit guides or meditate or write that book or. You too high to know that you're on the right path. Like, what, what is this? Like, come on now. Come on now. Time for you to take leadership. Whoever I'm talking to, I don't know who I'm talking to, but take the leadership. Okay. I could be talking to a Leo. See, you strong. You don't even know how strong you is. Like, quit playing for real. Quit playing. Quit playing. Quit for spiritual vibe. Get on your tail then. Leadership. Take charge. It's time for you to take charge of the situation. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> As I said, then what, 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 Queen of Swords came out. Okay, so well, let's see. I could be talking to an earth sign. It's a uh, brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people. So you are. So you are releasing situations and people say, all right, here you, you feeling trapped and you feeling like, you know, it's everything is an illusion. You, you know what I'm saying? And right here it says that you're releasing the situation. Right here it's saying you need to release it. Uh, help the habits or addictions. Right here it's saying, and it's the last card. It said you have released situations or people that no longer serve you. If you haven't, then you need to. Because if you don't, it's going to knock you off your path. Okay, um, focusing on your career right now. So that's all you focusing on. You ain't even focusing on a relationship because you divorced or, or, you un or you unmarried, which means you're single, right? Okay. 
So yeah, it's time for you to take leadership. Okay, let's pull from this card off and let y'all go. The hermit. Some of y'all going in hermit mode trying to figure it out what y'all want to do. Y'all meditate peacefully. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all um a spiritual mentor. Are you gonna be a spiritual mentor? Or somebody could be seeing a spiritual mentor. Or listening to one. So we got a chain of events that will affect your life. So somebody got some change or events that's going to, uh, um, y'all know what I'm about to say. I'm about to say if with your life. Chain of events that will affect your life. So you're about to go through something. Yep. Look, a journey, either physical or mental. Yeah, a journey. Look at it. You better go on a journey. Whatever this is, you finna go through some change, chains of events that's finna, um, you know, they're going to affect your life. Well, whatever the event is, an exciting event, okay? An exciting event. So, I could be talking to a Pisces, somebody's birthday in March. Okay. So, I liked it. Yep, try up or try up. Okay, so, yeah. So, it says, um, chain of events that will affect your life, okay? So, these chain of events is going to be good events, okay? Then you got, um... A journey, either physical or mental. Maybe finna take a trip. Okay? Oh, somebody taking a trip, like whatever you do for work, consists from work, this, what you finna, you finna take a trip, and you finna, it's gonna be about work, is what I'm saying. Then you got exciting event in March. So some of y'all might have a exciting event coming up in March, or you could be a Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Whoever I'm talking to, you could be a Pisces. Hmm, I like that. Let me get one more. I should've got one more of them, huh? Okay, it says news worth celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancies, or graduation. Y'all already know somebody is pregnant, so somebody found that they're pregnant. Weddings, engagement, graduations, a time for gratitude, close community, or chosen family. So you're about to be celebrating with um, close community of people who are close to you or your chosen family. Okay? I liked it. So I hope they help you guys. I hope they, um, you know, kind of resonate with somebody. Um, give you a fruit. Um, give you a little guidance on, you know. And then you know you're on the right path. But somebody obviously feel like they're not on the right path. But you are most definitely on the right path. So, yeah, I'm going to end this reading. I will see you guys later. Bye.